Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 68 Custom Princeton Reverb from Fender, and particularly a mod that is super easy and I think extremely underrated for how much better it makes this amp. So many people I've talked to have a similar story about the first time they plugged in this amp, that they love the tone, the treble was great, the reverb and the vibrato are incredible, but the bass is just too much, even if it's all the way down at one. So I've had this amp for about four years and I've loved it. Um, but day one, I knew there was something I had to do about this excess bass. So I looked it up online, it wasn't hard to find. Uh, so this mod, and before I get into the mod, if you are uncomfortable or unfamiliar with the inner workings of an amp and you're not familiar with the dangers of working in an amp, please take it to a professional to have this done. Like I said, it's very simple to do. An amp specialist really wouldn't charge a lot to do this. Um, but if you are familiar and comfortable working inside an amp and you know what you're doing and what to look out for, um, it's basically just a resistor that goes between the treble and bass pots. And all you wanna do is bypass that resistor with a little jumper cable. I use this little vintage cloth wire cable and just bypass that resistor. But like I said, just do your homework. If this is something that you're just unsure about at all, then don't do it, take it to a professional. And if you do do it, just make sure you take the precautions and there's lots of information you can find about how to be safe working on an amp. If you're into these kind of videos, please like, subscribe. The subscribing really helps me out a lot to be able to keep making these videos. Um, and comment, let me know what you thought of the comparison if you have any questions or suggestions for a future comparison, that'd be great. All the tones are the amp just running through a universal audio aux box straight into my DAW and stereo. And the only differences in the settings are gonna be what you see on screen with the, uh, with the panel. Okay, I'll talk a little bit more on the back end about what I thought, but for now, let's get into some tones.
right, I hope you found that helpful. Again, I think this mod makes this amp immensely better. Um, you could hear even on the bridge position, humbucking stuff, because we were cranking the volume, we have this thing that happens with the tubes that when you start cranking with tubes, your bass inflates. So with the bass rolled all the way down to one, you're still getting like these kind of fluffy, bloomy transients. If you really wanted to cut, there's nothing you can do unless you put like an EQ in front of your amp, but there's something special about going right into this amp. Um, so, and these amps, you know, they are great as pedal platforms, but for me, I love going straight into an amp. And if I can't get the EQ that I want by going straight in, then it's, it's no deal for me. So anyway, um, I found that in general, like around four with the mod was about where one is without the mod. So, you know, you've got all that room from four back to one if you have the mod to really roll off your bass and really get some nice cutting sounds. It's not to say that the sound is no good at one on the bass when you've got it stock, but um, if you're going for a certain kind of sound, there's just some sounds you can't get when you have it at stock. The mod really gives you that extra flexibility. So the one thing that I was really curious about myself because I did this mod so early on when I had this amp is does it mess up some kind of relationship between the bass and the treble? Does it, does it increase your treble or make something weird about the treble? But uh, going through all the different settings with the treble and the volume and all that, it really doesn't affect, in my opinion, it doesn't affect the treble. It doesn't affect the way the amp reacts. Um, all it really affects is just get less bass. So I think it's kind of a win-win for this. So yeah, if you have any questions about the mod, let me know. I'm happy to uh, talk about my experience with it. Um, I've thought about like putting a mod, putting the mod on a switch and then having a switch on the front or on the back or something. But I mean, because there's real, the amp kind of acts the same way when you have the mod, it just has less bass. It didn't really make sense to me just to hit a switch when I could just bring it up to four. It sounds basically the same with the bass at like, you know, four, four and a half or something, whatever it is for that particular tone. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time on another comparison.